Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Lightroom app. You can use this app on your mobile phone or on your desktop. It is a free app. I use it for all of my video editing. And it's good because it can sync to your phone and to your laptop. So whatever you um, edit on your phone, that will translate over to your laptop and you can share it with multiple people. You can have lots of logins to the same account as well. So if you have two people collaborating on something, it's really easy to share. You can save your settings, which is called a preset, and you can apply that to many different photos. It's, it's pretty much a godsend. This is what I use for all of my photos and I'm gonna show you a little tutorial on how to use it now. Once you receive the email with the link to download, you're going to select that and it will start to download. Well, it will ask you to download and then it will start to download. Now, I have already downloaded it. And if you have an iPhone, then they are going to be saved in your files folder in your iCloud. So then they will appear like this. They will appear blank, but you'll be able to see the names. So the next thing that you need to do is select one of the files, select share and save image. This will save it to your camera roll. Now you can open up the Lightroom app, select this little plus button, select album, so that you wanna create a new album in order to save all of them. Then create an album called Ella's Presets and save that. Then open up this album and in here, this is where you wanna save all of those DNG files. And you'll see once you import them from your camera roll that they will have a photo as soon as they appear in the app. So we're going to select the two that I have saved. And you can see now the photo. So select the image and then scroll across the bottom until you see presets, which is on the right. This is where they will be saved, but first you need to save them. So in the top right corner, you'll see three dots. Select those three dots and select create preset. Then you can, you can create different albums as well within here. I've got one that's called Ella's Presets and I'll save it in there. Then you can title that preset the same name that I have named all of them so that you know what you're using when you go to use it and this one was called Adelaide City and now you have that saved so like I said when you scroll across the bottom right then you see presets you'll be able to go to Ella's presets and now it is saved as Adelaide City now if you want to change the skin tone or the color or the light or anything at all we're going to go into light or we're going to go into color for skin tone we're going to select color and then mix and then for to adjust your skin tone you're going to use the red and the orange colors so this is what will either make you look more tanned or less so if we want to increase the tan we can just slide it across to the left or slide it across to the right in order to make yourself look a little bit less orange. Now if you want to play around with the color as well you can select hue and this is what's going to make it look a little bit more red or a little bit more orange. You can play with the saturation as well and then the luminance is what is going to actually fade your tan in and out. If you want to brighten up the image we can bump up the exposure. If you want it a little bit less harsh, if you want that really nice light colouring, then you would bring the contrast all the way down and that's what's going to give you that effect. For my pictures, I like to increase the whites, bump up the blacks and the shadows. And then usually I'll play with the mix, depending on the photo. But that is how you import them and save them so that you can use them for presets on all of your photos. 
So if you did like this video and if you learned a little something about Lightroom or two, then please give this video a thumbs up. I am also about to release my own presets and actually maybe by the time this video has been edited, the presets will be done. So if they are, I will link them down below. Otherwise stay tuned to my website. You can subscribe to my mailing list if you like for weekly Instagram tips and trip, tips, tips and tricks. And I also give you updates whenever I release a new digital product, which I am absolutely like, I'm loving creating all of these products for you guys. So make sure that you check them out and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.